Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. Find the square root of 6400. Let us use prime factorization method. We have let us find the prime factors of 6400. We get start with 2, we get 3200, then we get 1600, then we get 800, again by 2 gives 400, again by 2 will give 200, Again by 2 will give 100. Again by 2 will give 50. Then we get 25. 5 will give 25. So we can write 6400 as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. Now let us pair them. One pair of 2's, second pair, third pair, fourth pair and a pair of 5's. That means we will get under root of 6400 equal to 1 2 from here multiply by another 2 from this pair another 2 from this pair, another 2 from this pair and a 5 from this pair which is equal to 80. Note that while factorizing we are starting with 2 although we would have started with bigger number because we need to prime factorize. 2 is a prime number, 5 is also a prime number. So we are only using prime numbers while factorization. Let us read the question. Is 90 a perfect square? We have to find out whether 90 is a perfect square or not. So let us prime factor as 90. We get Let's start with 2, we get 45. Then let us divide by 3, we get 15. Again with 3, will give us 5. Then 5 will give us 1. So we can write 90 as 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. We see that the factors 2 and 5 are not occurring in pairs. That means we cannot form pairs for 2 and 5. Therefore, 90 is not a perfect square. There is another way of looking at this question. We can see that 90 has only one zero, but from the properties of perfect square, we know that a number can be a perfect square only if it has even number of zeros. So directly we could have concluded that 90 is not a perfect square. Let us read the question. Is 2352 a perfect square? If not, find the smallest multiple of 2352 which is a perfect square. Find the square root of the new number. So our number is 2352. Let us prime factorize. After prime factorization we get 2352 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 
into 3 into 7 into 7. Now let us try to pair them up. We don't have a pair for 3. So we can answer that as prime factor 3 has no pair. So 2, 3, 5, 2 is not a perfect square. Next part of our question is find the smallest multiple of 2, 3, 5, 2 which is a perfect square. We can see that if we multiply 2, 3, 5, 2 by 3 then we can get a perfect square. So let us do it. 2, 3, 5, 2 into 3 will give us 2 pairs of 2, 1 pair of 7 and another pair of 3. Let us multiply 2, 3, 5, 2 into 3 will give us 7, 0, 5, 6. And now we have everything in pair. So, 7, 0, 5, 6 is a perfect square. Hence, we will write that smallest multiple of 2, 3, 5, 2 is 7, 0, 5, 6 and it is a perfect square. And lastly, we have to find the square root of this number. Let us find the square root of 7, 0, 5, 6. Pair them up. We get 2 into 2 into 7 into 3 which is equal to 84. That means square root of 7056 is 84.